Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Macrium Reflect to clone Windows 11 and 2024. So today we're diving into the process of using Macrium Reflect, a trusted disk managing uh, or imaging sorry, and cloning tool to clone your Windows 11. So whether you are still upgrading your system or you want to upgrade your system or you're just creating a backup, this app will help you so much. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and install the Macrium Reflex first. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. And once you open that browser, basically, you will have to go to the URL section and simply type Macrium Course Reflects and hit the enter button. Make sure to go to Macrium, which is macrium.com. Hit that and you'll find yourself here. If you have an account, of course, and plan already, just go in here and hit the login option to login into your account. You can log in with Microsoft or Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging into your account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to instead to start with the home solution or business solution, whatever you're going to use it for. Maybe you're going to use it for business, for your business, for too many people, or if you're going to use it just in the home for just you or your family or something like that. If you don't know nothing about that, of course, first of all, you can go and scroll down to read just some informations to familiarize yourself or just have a general idea about it. And then, of course, you create an account. Click on Get Started for Home if you want to go for personal use or family use or for business if you want to use it for business. For me, I'll just go here with Home as an example. As an example here, you will be able to buy it. As an example, you have the annual plan for one computer, four computers, or for one-time purchase, if you don't want to keep paying every year, as an example, this for one computer and this for four computers. As you can see, if you want to pay it like per year, uh, and if you like, you'd like it, make sure to get the one-time purchase. It's a bit hard to pay more than this yearly, but it's actually much better. Of course, as you can see, they have the features here. You can post and read this all by your own. But before even buying it, make sure to try and download it and try the 13 days, 30 days free trial. If you like it, then you can simply just go and start like using it uh, or buy it for one time. No need to start paying yearly. No need to start paying yearly. So just go and click on download. Of course, make sure to go look for your PC is it's 46 bits or 32 bits. Of course, if you know, just go and open your settings. Hit the Windows I and this will open your settings. Just a shortcut if you do not know. Go here to this list panel, click on system and basically go to the bottom, click on about and here on the device specification, go to system type and as you can see, you'll find your bit operating system. For me, it's 64. So here, I'll just go and choose 64. Here, I'll have to start registering into my account. So just fill up those informations like your first name, last name, email, password, and confirm the password. Make sure your password uh, contains all of that. And of course, make sure to click on yes if you want to receive their emails. Click on no if you don't. Or you can simply sign up or create an account using Google or Microsoft. If you don't to get through all the boring steps of creating an account and filling those informations. Once you're logged in, of course, or once you've created your account, so for me, I'll just go here and log in because I already have an account. They will take you to where you can download, of course. As you can see for me, I just install it. Of course, I can install other product that they have. And I can start. I'll just go and click on cancel download because it's only installed for me. Once it's installed, just click on it. And where to download? So once it's installed, just click on it and start the installation process. Choose the language, choose whatever you want, and you'll be good to go. Of course, once it's downloaded, you'll need to restart your PC to uh have everything like directed then you will have to go and open it up click on yes once it's opened you will find yourself with the app already opened in your pc or something like that so once you install it you will have of course to connect the target drive to your computer this could be an external hard drive maybe or ssd or any other internal drive where you want to clone your Windows 11 system. Ensure that the target drive has sufficient storage space for the clone data. For me as an example, 
I'll just go and connect here a drive. Of course, it does not have like a lot of uh, citizen data, but I'll just show you with it. If you connect a drive, what will appear to you? An example, of course, this will open to us. So I'll just go and close that. As you can see in here, I find nothing new. But if I go, an example, just go out and open it again. Click on yes. And let's see, once it's opened, what we are going to see. So let's just wait a bit. Okay, it's here. As you can see, I have another disk for inserted or connected. Of course, for you, just insert your targeted drive or disk, whatever it is. And of course, what you'll need to do now is simply go and look for or select the source drive or source disk that you want to clone or image or whatever it is. Of course, as you can see for me, it's this one, which is uh, the one that contains the Windows 11. As I said in the beginning of this video, we want to clone the Windows 11. As you can see, it has some partitions. You can select the whole drive. As an example, so let me just go and deselect all of that because I have everything selected. So I can select the whole drive or I can just simply select the partition that has the windows on it. How can you know that it has the windows on it? Simply by this uh, windows icon, as you can see. So for me, my like uh, windows is installed on this first disk and or with those icons, I can know that it's installed on this partition. Of course, if you're worried about something, you can click and download or clone the whole disk. For me, I'll just choose this partition and simply click on click on clone this disk. Of course, make sure to select this one. Now we'll have to go and select a disk to clone to. Click on it and choose the disk that you want to close to clone to. For me, I will not be able to choose any of those options in here. Why? Because I don't have any citizens like a disk. So if I click in here, as an example, click on next. As you can see, in sufficient space on the destination drive. So for you, just choose one with sufficient drive. Click on next. You will have to give it a name. Of course, you can uh, like for you if you want adjust the partition sizes first of all, even before cloning, and review the cloning option. Initiate the cloning by click on finish. As you can see, if you check this, this will copy selected partition when I click on next. So if I click on finish, it will start cloning right away. And yeah, that's going to be it for me today. So there you have it. You successfully learned how to use Macrium Reflect to clone your Windows 11 and any drive or disk that you have. So thank you for watching and goodbye.